Hi, check out this new feature in Gab Debug. Starting with version 2015 update 1.3, Gab Debug will now detect when you've installed a new application and will automatically start that application. And I'm going to show you how it works and some of the benefits from it, especially when you're using instant debugging. So here in the top left is the latest version of Gab Debug. You can see in the device list it already recognizes the Nexus 7 over here on the right. And this Nexus 7 is connected by USB cable to my workstation and I've enabled USB debugging with it. Over here in the bottom left this is my Eclipse and I'm using it to build sample applications. So I'll start with an application I've already built. This is an Android APK file. I'll drag and drop it and when I do you'll see that what happens is Gap Debug will detect when the application is installed. There it is and it automatically will start this application. So that's kind of cool. Uh, let me show you how it really plays out very nicely when you use it with instant debugging. So over here in Gap Debug I'll start a debug session. The blue button indicates that this is the current active debugging session. And then right here on the right is the button for enabling instant debugging. So I'll enable this and then I'll show you how neat this feature is. Down here let's just say I want to make a quick change from say this text from hello world to hello everyone. So I'll save that and then I'm going to build it very quickly. I'm using my Eclipse to build the application locally. So it takes maybe 10 seconds or so for it to build. And when it does, what I'll do is I'll reinstall this application and we'll see that it'll update over here on the right and then it'll reinitialize and restart the debugging session. So my application is built. Now let's go through the process. So here, now we're updating it. You'll see this current application, this version will stop. It updates it, starts the new version. There we go, you can see the new text. And then over here on the left, the debugging session spins up again. You can see that, uh, that we're up and running. So very quick, uh, great way to enhance your instant debugging capabilities. Hope you give it a try.